Hare Krishna. So today we will proceed on our journey with sixth verse of third chapter from Bhagavad Gita as it is. The Sanskrit verse is as follows. Karmindriyani sanyamya ya aste mansasmaran indriyarthan vimudhatma mithyachara sa uchyate. The English translation is as follows. One who restrains the senses of action, but whose mind dwells on sense objects, certainly deludes himself and is called a pretender. Suppose someone we work with lies to us frequently. They claim that they can do things that they can't do. Or they claim that they can't do things that they can actually do. If we are repeatedly misled by them, we will eventually deem them unreliable and seek a replacement for them. Won't something similar happen if we lie to ourselves? Suppose we need to follow a strict schedule to improve our health. Suppose further we don't follow it because we are too lazy, but claim not to follow it because we are too weak. By such lying, we will undermine not just our health, but also our trustworthiness in our own eyes. What makes lying to ourselves further dangerous is that we humans are psychologically vulnerable to manipulation by repetition. Joseph Goebbels, Hitler's propaganda minister, said that if you tell a lie big enough and keep repeating it, people will eventually come to believe it. When exposed to our repeated lies, our intelligence will weaken. We won't even know when we are lying and when we aren't. Eventually, we will end up believing our own lies. Bhagavad Gita, chapter number 3, verse number 6, underscores the dangers of pretending. We are deceiving not just others, but ourselves too. Being unable to rely on ourselves is far more crippling than being unable to rely on others. Why? Because we can replace others, not ourselves. We are our first and indispensable resource for doing anything, including even consulting others. Now how can we make ourselves more reliable for ourselves? By conscientiously striving to be honest with ourselves. What if we still lie to ourselves because of a habit? We can make a time for regular introspection, wherein we evaluate our self-talk. When we thus confess to ourselves, we strengthen and sharpen our intelligence, thereby creating the foundation for reforming ourselves. We will discuss the next verse in the next episode. Till then, Hare Krishna.